All right, one more little thing. How about grep and kill? All right, those are two very handy little commands, and we can go through those real quick. All right, um, if you'd like to get an idea what's running on your uh, Linux machine, you do a PS. If you'd like to know a little bit more, maybe uh, a few more processes that are running and a little bit of a tree, kind of an operation here. You can see that that points out some pathways, little uh, ASCII art action there. And um, that can be kind of helpful. And if you want uh, even more details, there's another PSAUX that tells you tons of stuff that's going on. All right. Now, let's just say, for instance, that you were running an application like, uh, let's say, Firefox. All right. So you're running Firefox, and for some reason it's misbehaving and it kind of freaks out your computer. All right. Well, in the Windows environment, that's a real problem. You have to reboot. All right. But in the Linux environment, you do not have to reboot. All right. So here's how it works. If you do a PS, um, sometimes it's easy to find, sometimes not so much. PS, I don't see any evidence of Firefox running, but you can see in the background that indeed it is. All right. So we need a little bit more PS, let's say, dash EF. We might be able to find Firefox running here someplace. I believe, if I stretch this out a little bit, repeat my command by hitting an up arrow. All right, yeah, it's looking like this is gonna be Firefox, all right? But now, if it didn't happen to be the last thing we just started, which ends up at the bottom of the list, as you can see, the PSEF command is the very last command that was issued, and right above it was Firefox. You saw me fire up Firefox. So, um, this four-digit number here is called a process ID. Each one of these, ha each thing that's running on this box has a unique process ID. All right, so let's just pretend that Firefox was misbehaving and we didn't really feel like rebooting our computer for some reason. Maybe we're in the middle of a big, huge file download or something like that. All right, so what we could do, is just pretending that it wasn't at the end of the list like it is right now, let's say ps-ef we will pipe that into the grep command and we'll grab fire out of that, all right? That's enough to get the Firefox command, all right? And there it is. You can see right here, Firefox, all right? This would be the process ID of Firefox, all right? So if you just wanna kill Firefox, you type in kill 2658 and Firefox is gone. Unlike where you have to get begging and pleading and on your hands and knees, basically, to try and get Windows to shut something down, um, Linux is happy to do it. So um, now your problem is gone, and you can continue computing and doing whatever it was you're wanting to do. And that's a little bit about um, how to use grep to do something useful for something that you might run into. And I guess that's it. If you guys have any other questions, I'll uh, just do whatever you would like, whatever you're interested in.